that's afraid I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. We come before your throne, the God of our flesh, the God of our grace. How great you are.
Say thank you, Jesus. Can I see you wave your hands in appreciation, in honor unto the Lord? Amen. Let's quickly bring out our offering. We are going to continue with the praises shortly. These are special deliverance service, and I know God is going to be reaching out to somebody today in the name of Jesus. Please, if you are sitting down, be up on your feet. Get your offerings packaged, lift it up to heaven. Father, we thank you. Thank you, merciful Father. Can you just begin to speak to that seed in your hand? With this seed, Lord, meet my need. You so say, I will do a new thing. Do you desire a new thing? Let this seed speak for you this, this afternoon, rather. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon our lives. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, even for the privilege to give to you again. We ask, Lord, that you accept us, accept our offerings in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that by reason of this offering today, Lord, our lives will continue to experience greatness. An increase on all sides in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my Father. Your offerings are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, a shout. Say, come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrows and now I'm free. You say, I got me for hallelujah, for Oh, I got my para, hallelujah, para, Because of Jesus, every day, I shall ride it. Double, double, heavenly blessing, I am and they receive. Ah, yeah, yeah. God, your grace and mercy, always. Come and see, come and see, come and see, come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. You say he has taken away my sorrows and all. I'm a member, hallelujah, Buru. I'm a member, When you see me dance, I dance like a winner motto. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner motto. When you see me shout, I shout like a winner motto. When you see me shout, I shout like. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 o
listen very well so that you understand what I want to share with you and if anything concerns you you know how to begin to pray in John chapter 11 verse 44 
the Bible says, and he that was dead came forth with bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto him, lose him and let him go. That's what I want to share on today and tomorrow. Lose him and let him go. Lose him. Now, the story of Lazarus and this particular verse of scripture exemplifies and explains everything I'm going to share. When you were not born again, when you were insane, you were not saved, you were dead. You were dead in sin and transgressions. At salvation, what salvation came to do is to give you life. So once you are born again, you now receive what? Galatians 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. The life I now live, I live, the life I now live in the flesh, I live to the glory of the Son of God who loved me and did what? And did what? Gave himself for me. Now listen. So, you are, you are now saved. But when Jesus said to Lazarus, come forth, Lazarus came, his hand was bound. His legs were bound. His face was covered with what? A napkin. But he was alive. Is that true? Is that true? He was alive. But he was bound. Until Jesus now said, do what? Lose him. That's deliverance. Coming forth from the dead, in being brought back to life, is salvation. Coming out of death to life. Coming out of darkness to light. But the hand and the legs were still bound. I'm going to say something to you because some people, pastors, bishops, are all under this bondage. Many people. I will explain some things to you. From scriptures. From scriptures. That's why some people despite their talent, their ability, their gifting, their anointing, they are still stranded. Because in Isaiah 49, 21, it says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive? There is something called lawful captivity. Lawful captivity. Satan is standing against you and he has a legal ground. Let me say this. Oh Lord. <sighs> Can we go on? You are saved. But you need to be loosed. <laughs> mm. You see, when I started deliverance teaching, one of the things I did was I began to study Africa. Began to study. Do you know that 80% of all the states in Nigeria, all their names are demonic? The name Lagos means Echo. Echo was taken from Edo. The name Akwaibom is from a river. When people come from all those areas, you see the same traits. Anambra is from the, the god of the water and the god of the iron. Check Ekiti. E, the name Ekiti is from, was gotten from a place called Okiti. Okiti. It means a forbidden area. So how can you come from those places? That is why certain people, so if you like go to America, the, the thing knows where you come from. That's why I said, see, there is something, Lord help me. In Judges 12, I think from 5 to 6, you see this kind of teaching, I don't teach it all the time so that people don't get afraid. Let me show you something in Judges 12. And the Gileadites took the passages, passengers, people of Jordan before the Ephraimites. And it was so, listen, when the Ephraimites were escaped and said, let me go over, that the men of Gilead say unto him, I, are thou an Ephraimite? If he says no, see how they catch them. They will say unto him, say now Shibboleth. And they will say Shibboleth. 
he could not frame to pronounce it right then they took him and slew him they captured all of them men of the Ephraimites they kept them about to slaughter them and the man said please don't kill us some started denying their origin I'm not an Ephraimite they said okay come pronounce the word Shibolet because from where they come from their tongue cannot pronounce Hesh they will say Sibolet say you are a liar you are Ephraim that is how it is when you try to break free there are certain powers that look for something that ties you to your location so you become a victim of that location When an evil spirit is cast out of a man, Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43, he said, He wandered through dry places, seeking rest. He findeth none. And the demon will say, I shall return back to my house. How can you call a place they've casted you out of my house? When you pack out of a house, listen, when you pack out of a house that you didn't build, you've packed out. You have left the house. There's every tendency for you to say, My former. Is that, not, is that not correct? You say my former house. You can't say my house. For you to still say my house, it means there's a legal ground. Lawful captain means that the enemy has a legal ground. Look at Joshua the high priest in Zechariah chapter 3. Satan stood at his right hand. Angel was standing. Satan was standing. Why? There was a legal ground. What was the legal ground? Filthy garment. Satan cannot oppress nobody, cannot manipulate. If you're a believer, you cannot be possessed. A, 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 the Holy Spirit cannot be inside of you. Two spirits can occupy a body. The Holy Spirit cannot be inside of you and an evil spirit inside of you. So a believer cannot be possessed, but a believer can be obsessed. How many of you know there are many Christians that like fashion? Are you, are you aware? What is that? Obsession. There are some Christians that are like food obsession so a believer can be obsessed a believer can be oppressed you sleep they will come and press you at night or they come and feed you in the dream or you wake up and meet marks on your body that's oppression you can't sleep at night there's a spirit of nightmare satan knows my, my father was talking to me one day. He said, you see, I don't know what's happening to the young men of these days. They are not serious with their life. That his own father left his, his grandfather at the age of 17. And started struggling for himself. That him left his father's house to join the army at 17. Something hit me. Because I'm the second child. My elder brother left the house at 17. I left the house at 17. It was a pattern. When we get to 17, something must happen that we provoke us. Somebody make us angry. We carry our bag. We are moving. My mother will say something. That says, In fact, I'm grown enough. 17. It was a pattern. There are certain families today, marital battle is a pattern. A pastor's wife came. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm not staying again. I'm not staying in the marriage. Enough is enough. I'm tired. Papa, I say I should come and report your son to you. I'm tired. I was looking at her because I know the family. The mother left. The sisters left. She was the only one staying. The thing came for her. I said to her, I said, my daughter, if you will not stay for yourself, stay because of your daughter so she will break this chain. Because if you leave, your daughters too will leave. It's a pattern. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or a lawful captive. I wish I was talking here. These are things we call foundation. These are altars. One of the first things you need to be losing flus from is foundations. Foundations are real, sir. They are real. I have been to, listen, I've been to over a hundred and I've used 18 passports. I don't work out. I've traveled everywhere. All the continents of the world. There are Nigerians that see Europe who are suffering. Because demons don't, demons don't respect location. They respect transactions. Go to America. Let there be a, 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 a covenant. They will come for you. Demons don't need visa. They are spirit bees. I told you by a pastor. He was in Nigeria. He was almost a nuisance. Begging everybody for money. He would go here. Money, money. So people were tired. It was the season of visa lottery. They call it um, DV. Visa lottery. You win a visa. You go to America. So he won a visa lottery. And 
It was now money for ticket to go to New York. In fact, everybody was saying, let's give him so we can have peace. He's becoming a pest to everybody. They connected, con, con, collected money from him for him, and they gave the pastor. Pastor, pastor. He traveled. When the pastor traveled, in fact, when he landed in America, he laughed. In JFK Airport, John F. Kennedy's airport, he said, Nigerians, if you see my leg ever in Nigeria, cut the legs. He went there. He began to get places. They would invite him to places. He would preach. He got a job. He began to do a second job. In America, in the US, in UK, you can do three jobs. They work per hour. So he was working, getting money. One night, he noticed he could not sleep. He was just restless on the bed. After a while, the bed began to turn. The bed, no bed where he was sleeping, started rotating. So he would jump out. The bed is not turning. When he lay on the bed, the bed is turning. He tried to sleep on the ground. The ground too began to turn. Ah, ah. When he stands up, so as far as he was concerned, the whole world was turning. So he stopped sleeping. Then he go to the train station. When they are waiting for the train, he will sit down because he didn't sleep at night. On the train station, that's how he sleeps off. By the time he opens his eyes, people have closed. They are already returning back. He will sleep deep. To cut the long story short, one day, he slept. Three old men came out of the wall. The wall. They just walked out. Ah, I bind you. I bind you. They say, shut up. Where are you from? They say, we are from Oak Bay. Oak Bay is in Delta State. We are from Oak Bay. Have you seen anybody from your family that came here before? Carry your thing. Cut long story short. He came back to Nigeria with a palm sanders. And a traveling bag. But with his leg foundation honest people loving people but because of transaction when they say a prey you know what a prey is you know what a prey means a prey is a victim almost an innocent a prey is one in captivity that is why he says can the prey be taken from the mighty because some of these transactions are things that we have entered even before you were born some before your father i was missing deliverance to a girl she vomited shillings you know shillings not money we use now shillings i had to take that money and show to a man who was 70. he said this money was used in the 60s that is what they use in buying her shillings Shall they pray? See, most of foundations are real. When, when people, when you, when a, you come from a particular family, and you see a pattern, you see a structure in that family. If you like, run, go anywhere, get twenty visas. These people will be looking at you because it's transactions that have been made. There are families where marriage there's a covenant that have entered. We are in um, Abba. So a pastor's wife. They were having problems. So the, the woman just wake up. He said, no, they do again. I'm not married again. The man said, okay, fine. Let's separate. There was no fight. There was no quarrel. Now, I was doing a program then. So both of them said they want to see me. So I thought it was about the program. They said they want to see me. They sat down. They were looking at me. I said, what's the matter? The woman says she wants to tell me that she's not marrying again. Ah. As the, man, the man says he has agreed to. He's not marrying again. I said, okay. What happened? He said, nothing. They just decided it's better when they stay apart. And the woman has convinced the husband on the need to stay apart. Ah, ah. And I asked them, I said, I don't have a problem with that. Why is it that it is when me, I came for a program here, that this spirit now entered you? He said, no, it has always been there. I said, when did, when did you allow me to go first? Then you can make your decision. They said, it has always been there. We started praying. We started praying. We started praying. I now told the young girl, I said, who is so, so, so? She said she doesn't know anybody like that. I said, where's your father? He said, the father is in the village. I said, okay. He said, no more. I said, okay. Call your father. He said, how? He's an old man. I said, bring him. She said, okay. Took a car, brought the father. The father came, elderly man, walked with stick, with a red cap. He sat down. I greeted him. And I asked him, Papa, do you know so-so person? He said, no. He doesn't. After I said, hey, 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 
Obiageli, 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 Obiageli. He suddenly remember. He knows the person's native name. He said, that's the person's name too. I said, what happened? I said, what did you have to do with that person? He said, nothing. No. I said, because that person is the reason. That pastor's wife was the only one in marriage. The other three girls have left marriage. You know, I said, he didn't do anything. After a while, he said, chelo, 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 chelo. Chelu, 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 chelu. Hey, 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 hey. His stick took off his cap, started crying. What was the matter? He got that lady pregnant, and the lady had a little girl. The lady was living in his house. But that's not the person he wanted to marry, so he kicked her out. Why the girl was living? He said, The way you are sending me out of the house, you will have daughters. None of them will stay. Spirits took the word. The man said, oh, We can't do anything. He got married. So all the children became lawful. And the man started crying. He started crying. The daughter, they were holding the girl. You didn't tell the same man, say he just felt it was an ordinary statement. No, sir. When somebody is genuinely hot and pronounces a word, it becomes a transaction. If that man dead, the only thing that would have helped the man, if right there he has countered it. You don't know what I'm saying. That's why when people say some things against you, this guy will say, I, in the name of Jesus, I reject it on the spot. Because when you allow it, touch the soil. This or your truth, in the name of Jesus, I reject it. I reject it. Don't you? People say something, say, where, 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 where? God day, God day. What's God day? Where, where, where God did. No, sir. Look at this. A lady was going to North. You know those people, those women that go to North with the buy bags of rice. Sometimes when they are coming back, they follow their goods. They will sit. So there were two women. They normally share this thing. You know this Avieli. You know Avieli. Okay. Some of you know Avieli. Some don't know. They have lorries, trailers. So two of them normally share. They will pay for full trailer, but both of them will share. 100 bags, 100 bags, they'll go. So one time, they had a problem, a quarrel inside the truck. And as they were quarreling, 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 she, you know, some people, most people are very troublesome in the church. The, the, their life is funny. You are the one that doesn't have a relationship with God, a good relationship with God, and you are the one that will be the first to throw insults. My God, we punish you. My God, we judge you. That lady looked at her, and the lady tapped her, and said, you go see. I have deposited something in you. You can't do anything. That's not how you respond. You respond in the same frequency. You cannot deposit anything in. No. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. He say, you will see what will happen to your body. Then he came down. A month later, she was feeling a lump on one of her breasts. Another one month later, the breast was becoming strong. She went. He said she had cancer. I was praying to God, God said this is not medical, this is spiritual. Now let me tell you what happens. There are many sickness that are arrows. They are spiritually fired. They are fired in the atmosphere. By the time you now start handling it medically, you are killing the body and now inviting the sickness medically to your body. How do I explain that to you? A problem was fired into somebody's eyes. It's spiritual. They have to handle it with prayer. It begins to use eye drops, surgery, thereby is opening that body to become receptive to the sickness he thought came in naturally which came in spiritually and then say but the cancer is now there it wasn't there until you started going for chemotherapy how do, how, are, you, are you getting anything at all There are some names. There are some names. You just carry some names. Foundation. Foundation. Names. Names. Imagine somebody from this calling himself Unjoku. You don't know what Unjoku means. Bamidele. Iyabo. You start bearing some kind of names. You come from the other side. They call the younger Agbisi. Ogbewe. I call a young lady. As what's your name? You say her name is Yemoja. Hey! That's a shrine. Foundations are very, very important. Today, 
any ungodly and demonic foundation as we begin to pray you shall be loose 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 okay let me show you something that you don't know Now, Moses, if you study Moses, the scripture about Moses, Moses, Numbers 12 from verse 3, Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth. There was no man like Moses. All the earth, God did a census and a sample and found that amongst everyone on earth. Can we get another translation of that? Maybe the message, if that could explain it better. Now, the man Moses, listen to this. The man Moses was a quietly humble man, more so than anyone living on earth. What an analogy. Moses was a humble man, more humble than anyone else. A census was taken. Now, the man Moses was very humble. Bracket open, gentle, kind, devoid of self-righteousness, bracket closed, more than any man who was on the face of the earth. What does that mean? The man was extremely, this kind of person who walks away from trouble, walks away from evil. Okay, let me explain to you. And somebody else will tell you that Moses was very angry, angry. God says, speak to the rock. He struck the rock. It was anger that welled up inside of him. So how do you connect this, this scripture to anger? That man was so angry. How do you connect it? You go to Genesis 49. Start from verse 5. Simeon and Levi are, instru are brethren, instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. Verse 6. Oh my soul, come not into their secret, unto the assembly, mine honor. Do not thou not united. For in their anger, they slew a man, in their self will, they dig the wall. In their what? In their anger. Say, Levi, terrible men. They dig down the wall. Look at verse 7. Cause be their anger, for it was fierce. And their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob. What is Jacob? Jacob is Israel. What is Israel? The promised land. And scatter them in Israel. Cause be their anger. So they were known for their anger. Now fast forward to Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 2. A man went of the house of Levi and took what? A wife to wife, a daughter of Levi. Verse 2. And the woman conceived and bare a son. When she saw, saw him that was a goodly son, she hid him three months. Don't forget, in Genesis chapter 49 from verse 5, Levi was known for anger and their anger was cursed. Alright? Moses came from that lineage of Levi. Father side Levi, mother side Levi. So he was only the author of both Patana and Matana. The anger in his lineage was what showed up in him when God says, Speak to the rock and he struck the rock. The curse in his lineage, God says, I, They will not be joined in Israel. That was what stopped Moses from entering the promised land. I wish you understand what I'm saying. The name Moses is not an Israeli name. It's an Egyptian name. Moses means I drew him from water. It was given to him by Pharaoh's daughter. I drew him from water. Moses changed Joshua's name. It gave Joshua, Joshua. Joshua had another name. Moses changed Joshua's name. But Moses was too busy to change his name. His name means I drew him from water. Everything about Moses' failure was around water. He got to the Red Sea. That is when he almost gave up. But he got parted it. He ran out and got to the well of water. That was when he met Zipporah. God spoke to him, speak to the rock. He struck the rock. What came out? Okay. Foundation. Moses. Why did God send Moses back to Egypt? Acts chapter 7 verse 22. Acts 7 22. The Bible says Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptian and was mighty in words and deed. Moses was learned, learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. What is the wisdom of Egypt? Isaiah chapter 19 from verse 1. 
Are you, are you, are you following this teaching? Isaiah chapter 19 from verse 1. The body of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a cloud, swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. The heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Verse 2. I will set Egyptian against Egyptian. They shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail. I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to idols. This is the wisdom of Egypt. Seek to idols, the charmers, and them that are familiar spirits, and the wizard. Go back again to Acts 7.22. You have written that before. But you have written it before, so Jogo. Moses was learned in the wisdom of Egypt. So what was the wisdom of Egypt? The wisdom of Egypt, listen. The wisdom of Egypt was the capacity to understand wizardry, charms, idolatry so moses knew all the time moses was being trained to be the next pharaoh because pharaoh's daughter had no son so moses was to be the next pharaoh so all the wisdom of egypt idolatry everything that is why when god wanted to talk to moses god had to talk to moses in a language we understand put your hand in your bosom he put his hand bring it out it was leprous those were the things moses understood drop your rod he dropped it pick it up he picked it up because it's happened those were the language Moses understood. But what Moses did not understand was that for them to do this kind of thing, they must know which God. That is why he said, who are you? Let me understand which of the gods of Egypt is being revealed to me. He now said, no, I am. I am not the God of Egypt. He said, I appear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as the name God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, I was not revealed unto them. So what did he tell Moses? Go back to Egypt. You too, you need deliverance. Go and challenge the gods of Egypt. The ten plagues of Egypt represent the ten gods of Egypt. Pharaoh himself was a god. That is why God said to Moses, I make you a god unto Pharaoh. Pharaoh was a mini god. So when God said to Moses, I make you a god unto Pharaoh, he was saying, Moses, I make you a god to a god. The first thing they did was to handle the powers of the water. He said in Exodus 7, say Pharaoh goes now to the river. As Pharaoh was going, the Bible says Moses spoke to the fish to the sea and the fish died. He spoke to the sea and the fish. Sir, in a sea there are many fishes. So the right English should be and the fishes that no, he said and the fish. There is a fish that controls the sea. Yes. Exodus 7, 18, they brought that up now. And the fish in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Egyptians shall look to drink the water of the river. God in creation knew. I give you dominion. Genesis 1, 28. He gave us dominion. And God bless them. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. So what is in the earth? I have dominion over what? Over what? Over what? Mm -mm, not fishes. Read it well. Over what? Of the sea. Now, there's something that's not right there. It should have been the fishes in. Or the fish in. It's the fish off. So there is a fish that, that owns the sea. And the fowl of not fowls or in of that controls you are not following me in your village there is a fish of the sea in your family there's a fowl of the air in other words if you try to try to drown wealth from the sea there's a power controlling it you go to the air there's a power on the land there's a power so they wait for you everywhere a young girl was brought to me i went to this, this port court they brought someone to, for me to pray for what was the problem the girl had a dream in the dream, somebody, the girl is about 16. Somebody said he wants to marry her, that she's a queen. So they wore her bracelet on her neck. They wore her ring. They wore her bangle in the dream. She woke up with the bracelet, the bangle, and the ring physically. 
I'm not telling you la last year or two years. This trip I just came from. I said, come, bring her, let her talk to me. You see, you see, if this church is a church where we give a microphone to come and be confessing their deliverance, it, it, it will put fear in you. So when some people are delivered, they tell me, I say, you are free. And I say, yes, go to foundation class. So I want to tell my testimony, uh -uh, go, grow first. Go to foundation class. The things we see. Walk up with the bangles, the ring, and the neck. Or physically, I'm not saying I was told. I saw them. Glittering from sleep. A pastor, not a pastor of a church, was ordained as a pastor, was preaching in places. He had a girl he wanted to marry. So it, it was, he didn't understand. Even if he locked door, locked door, locked door, locked front door, locked the distance, the girl will enter. How? He said, You didn't lock the back. I lock him. You didn't lock the back. Lazy man, you don't lock the back. Anything, the girl will enter. I'm not saying London in this town. The girl will enter. He said, You don't lock front. You don't lock front. So one day, the girl said she's coming. The guy locked everywhere and left. He met the girl in the house. He said, I lie. I came out. I locked back. I locked. He said, He lie. You don't lock. You didn't lock everywhere. So he started running. The boy started running. He said, No, this one. Mm, there's nothing you are going to tell me. Sit down. There's nothing you are going to tell me. I locked the door. He said, You didn't lock it. Yeah, yeah, man. You didn't lock it. So the guy ran to me. He narrated the story. I started laughing. Where is she from? She say, she is from. Not she say. Who do you know in her family? One of our friends. Eh, eh. Who do you know in her family? I know her friend. I said, no. You are dating somebody, planning to marry the person. You don't know any member of family. There are some people, their relationship is the value of a SIM card. Once somebody changes SIM card, relationship is over because they don't know nothing. We started praying. We started praying. I wasn't married though. I wasn't married. I'm better now. I was not, I was mad after that period. Crazy. Started, I lay hands on him. I was praying. While I was praying, a wind came into the room. Boo, 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 boo. Kept on praying. The guy was screaming, pulling out a ring from his hand. Physically, not in the dream. A ring was in his hand. As we pulled the ring, the metal touched the earth. Ping, 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 ping. That was when the wind started. As we were doing that, things were falling. Things were breaking. Things were falling. Things, my own anger was, I was not part of it. I was not there when they met themselves. You are destroying my frame. You are destroying my work clock. I was not there. I was, I was angry. I said, if that girl come, I won't see him. He will pay for my work clock. He said, ah, sorry, pastor. I said, wait a sorry. Was I there when you met yourselves? Now, these are things that have happened that I know. Okay, I'll give you one. There was a young lady. Somebody reminded me. He came to one of our crusades and he told me, he said the first time he met me was during this encounter. One time, there was told a story about one girl in Benin. That any time, Benin City, in Nigeria, that any time she, she would almost strangle pastors, as in during deliverance, she would draw their tie. Pastor Bishop, uh, in the name of Jesus, happened. She would beat pastors. She was about 16, 17. She would beat pastors. So me, I was fasting. I just finished, broke my fast. I was very tired. My body was weak. So I just walked in to see somebody there. They told me about the young girl. That the girl is this, the girl is that. Like I can see for what? Beat pastors. They're not born them well. Is she mad? They say she lives around. Hey, go, go and call her for me. If I know her for the entire world, I would have just mind my business and walk away. By then, I had zero knowledge on deliverance. All I know is, come out. What, whatever is coming out, I don't know. But I know how to say, come out. If I look at you, now, if I look at you one minute, I can tell you the spirit controlling you. One minute from your talk, from your dressing, I can identify. A pastor passed me one day. I said, ah, pastor, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you do this, you do this. You say, how did you know? I said, this is not the Holy Spirit now. It's wisdom from deliverance because there are certain spirits when they are inside you they determine how you react when you see somebody proud now marino marine people are very proud so if you are addressing spirit you know the spirit to address there are people like they're very cunning they, they act like don't talk or they just keep quiet but they are deadly now serpentine be that one 
So what happened was, I got stubborn. The girl came inside. She ran. He said, are you, I was an evangelist. Are you evangelist? Johnson Suleiman said, yes. He said, please help me. Help me. I want to be free. Mm. The thing came. I said, what did they do this one? What is this? Mm. Started flinging people. I said, how many? There were three brothers and two sisters. No. Three brothers, two other brothers, then one sister. That sister came with her. It was her friend. No, it's a small girl, too, of her age bracket. Three held her here, two brothers held her here, and the girl. They held her like that. I saw her. She lifted them. I saw their leg. She lifted them like this. I saw their leg lift the ground. I said, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I said, I say, oh boy. Oh. Who, who sent me on this place? <laughs> Lifted the ground through them. I said, yeah, what's your name? He said, my name is Zikos. I can't forget that name. Where are you from? I came from the Mediterranean Sea. How many are you? He said, we are two million. I said, liar. Two million where? She just did like this over two of the guys. Those ones went down. Wow. I said, hey! So even in the negative, there is negative anointing. <laughs> Those ones began to turn. I ministered to them. They left. One guy was just coming. The guy said, I banned you. I banned you. Hey, stop. He called the guy's girlfriend's name, mentioned the date they slept with each other. He said, you want to touch me? You, you, you. This, that one just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> he just, thank you, my daughter. He just respect himself. He didn't even argue. He just went outside. The guy, the guy just clapped. Bam! All the doors were locked. I was only the one inside. But when she's coming to me, she'll come with force. She will go back. She was doing everything to strangle. She wants to come. She will go back. Me, I didn't take her serious. I was looking at drama. I said, wait till be all this one. She will clap, bah, light will go off. She will clap, bah, light will come on. I said, what is all this one you are doing? Come out. He said, I won't come out. I said, at the name of Jesus, the demon will say, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth. Hey. I said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. She said, with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10, 38. Hey. I had broken fast and I didn't break well. I break. <laughs> I didn't break like that. I just took something light. So I was hungry again because we started on a Wednesday. We had, had entered Thursday. She would do like this. She's eating like this. Then she would budge. <laughs> Me, I've not eaten. The person I'm. <laughs> I continue. I say, God, if, you, if I come out of this place today. We said, John C. Suleiman, leave us alone. I said, you are not going home. Today, you girl must be free. I won't let you go. In my heart, I was like, let me just open this door. Brethren, we are outside. This brother that reminded me some weeks ago was part of those outside. They were praying for me to come out alive. Nobody was talking about being delivered now. Just, Father, bring him out. Father, bring him out. Oh, God. Oh, God, bring him out. Oh, God, bring him out. So I was there. Ministering. Ministering. It was towards the evening. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 on the door. Bah, 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 bah. When I do is that, she said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. You just stretch your hand. You get, beam. People are falling outside. Father, bring me out of this place now. Then Friday morning, the angel of the Lord walked in. That was my first time of seeing an angel. You know, I grew up to think the angel had feather. You know, you know those things they draw. The show end that we fed angel. No. They are men like you. But they are big. If you see demons, you'll be angry. Oh. Demons are like this. Very majestic. Very small. Sharp mouth. Sharp. Yes. Ugly. If you see them, you say, now this one day, nine day. <laughs> so, the angel of the Lord walked in. And began to talk to me. Say, I'm the angel of the Lord sent from the presence of God to you. I said, I'm tired. I need assistance. He said, but is it between you? I said, what? Well, why are you struggling? Praise me. Give God praises. Give God worship. He said, this is what you would have done when you pray and pray and the situation persists. Worship. Ladies and gentlemen, as I started worshiping, in less than five minutes, power will pick her, hit her on the wall, bah! hit her, bah! she will, no, no, after a while, boom, 
she was there doors open things were just happening on their own when the doors open i wanted to go out she said no picked her up laid hands with her she was free today she's married to a pastor but i learned a lot i learned a lot because you know after the whole thing i was asking god why did i stay that long and i began to understand all of those times the demons was conversing with me i would have asked how did you get in here what was the covenant because deliverance is on information there are times demons speak like personally now at my level i don't permit demon to speak i don't have time i'm busy if i finish this one i'm doing three o'clock prayer so i don't have time to listen to a demon you want to talk i say hold your peace during Jehovah the doctor you hear most of them i lay hands i as i say shut up there's no time i don't have time now not this level not this level but how did that girl enter when i started talking to the mom at the age of two she went she wanted the child went for it went to the river see eh? spirits keep record spirits believe in documentation i'm not saying something here are you getting anything foundation psalm chapter 11 verse 3 if the foundation be destroyed i'm showing you entry points how people become bound another entry point of is blood manipulations blood 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 manipulations every blood that's a voice don't forget genesis chapter 4 verse 10 the blood of abel was crying every drop of blood has a voice hebrews 12 24 the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel those of you with mark in your body you grew up your parents had to put some mark when you were growing up they had to put some mark on your body as they were marking you, you no know, after they draw that mark there's a black thing they normally rub and before that black thing is sold to them those who sell they normally say things into the black things so as those things, as they cut your body you cut your hand and they apply that black thing, what was said into those black things become manifested in the person's life blood coming at incisions at the first incision tattoos incisions tattoos all of those things blood covenant in leviticus 17 11 and 14 it makes us know that the life of a thing is in the blood blood now let me say this to you are you listening not every hospital is ordinary some are representing an assignment all those their, some of them all those their equipments have been covenanted by the time they are doing surgery and your blood touches it a covenant is entered i've been to a woman walked into my office with her head like that so i told her i said get outside and walk properly she said physically if you see her she's standing i said get outside and walk properly now she said thank you sir she went got to the door turned she adjusted in the spirit realm and walked in another man came to my office he sat down when he was leaving the lord said check his seat i was almost going to the door god said check his seat i stood up i looked at the seat the lord opened my eyes i saw a tortoise you know tortoise left on the seat so any other person coming for counseling would have sat down collected problem that is how people go to church a church that will give them peace their problem multiply because some people who drop problem other people collected it so what i did was i said hey 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 come come he said, i said come back sir he came i said sit down sir he said, I said sit here 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 the man sat down i said stand up he stood up i didn't see it i said okay go in other words come and carry And so it's all those big men who come to see men of God and think they have arrived. When he came, you see him, he look at me, he said, Ah, you look very young. He said, You should be like 30, 37, 38. I was just looking at him. I said, Really? So he said, Yeah, you look young. Ah, ah. So you are the apostle. You are a small boy. I said, Yes, sir. He said, You look young. I said, Yes, sir. 
these 34 years I've been preaching. This or meme. Enter my office and he's standing me. I'm looking. No, it's bad. It's a, it's, I like it when I hear that a lot. Oh. When people say you look so young, it's good. It's better than they say you look so old. <laughs> so I say, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm young. I'm young. He said, yes, yeah. Of course, I'm very young. I said, thank you, sir. Sit back. Yeah, come and go. Incision. Okay, can, my wife is here. One of the things. Can I talk? Mothers, can I talk? One of the things you must be careful about is female circumcision. Most time that thing covenants are entered. May the girl for no rotting, may for no spoil. You slash a part of her body, enter the marine covenant with the girl. Some parents, that's why I say I'm careful. And most times, when those things are entered into, you see entry points, people are not aware. I'm taking time. Let me round up now. I'm taking too much time. Amen. I said amen. amen. Tattoos and piercing. Have you seen piercing? Piercing with press nose. Anything that has to do with your blood. Life is involved. With pierce nose. Another blood. <laughs> another blood bondage is evil communion. You know communion? You know, a, a pastor and a church you don't understand the spirit don't take communion there there was one church my, my mother you know my mother became a christian my father was a muslim so my father told my mother that well if this marriage must work you must come back i didn't marry you as a christian so you must come back my, my mother said never my father said well you must come back people said both of you should live together my dad said no my mother has to make a choice. So my mother started going from one pastor to another so that God can touch my father's heart. That was when my mother took us. It was just me and my younger brother then. My mother took us to wrong places. There was one of the particular places I remember. No matter the level of prayer we are praying, they do all night there a lot. Once it gets to level 55, they'll stop. They'll start sharing mineral. He does him and among all the places my mother goes to, that is the only church I like. I like that church. My younger brother, and I, my elder brother, and I'll be looking at time. Say, time never issue. Say, say me, they give me full, full, full go spots, full limka. We'll be looking at it like that. We'll be looking at it. I like that. I used to like that church. After that, do not give chicken. Eh! Guess when? 12.10, 12.05, 12.20. So even if you are sleeping, my brother, come on, wake up. Say, wake up, wake up. 12 don't knock. 12 don't knock. 12 don't knock. If you are going, ask mommy. We like this church. Oh. When, when are we coming back? We we'll say, food, food, food. I never knew it was convenant. So we we'll wake up at 12. So we'll get there, they start vigil by 8. We'll go and sleep. If we reach level, somehow, how we wake up, we don't know. We must wake up. We they like other churches. They will share. And as the man, as the man is sharing, he will stand on the spot. He'll be talking. He'll be talking. But when it's not audible, his sleeps will be moving. What do you guys me? Chicken. Go spot. So long you give me something to eat. What the hell is my business? But it was later in life. I say, when certain things began to happen to my life, as I was walking with the Lord, I now knew. I said, this is where these things are coming from. These are foundations. In the name of Jesus, in the next few minutes as we begin to pray, you, you are going to be free. I don't like your amen at all. I don't like your amen at all. I say you are going to be free. You are going to be free. You are going to be free. In the name of Jesus. 
I say you are going to be free in the name of Jesus. Take your seat. Should I give you one more? I wrote something this morning. She I will fix my eyes upon thee. I will fix upon thee. I will fix. Okay. Now, another entry point. I'll say this then, I'll just pray. Another entry point is eating in the dream. Eating. Do you know what food does physically? Food gives you energy. Right? Gives you vitamins. Gives you sustenance. What food does to your body is what eating in, dream, in the dream does to the spirits after you. You understand my explanation? If you, are eating, you eat food now, it gives you energy. Huh? It gives you strength. It gives you stamina. It gives you vitamin. So also, when they feed you in the dream, the spirit that is responsible for that is fed, is strong, is empowered. You, you are eating, but no, they are the ones consuming. Anything you see, whether it is rice, whether it is Offensala, Edika in Kong in the dream. It's not food. What you are seeing is blood. As you are eating it, it mingles into your blood and the covenant is established. It's not food you are eating. That is what I've always taught you. I said, whenever you eat in the dream, when you wake up, don't eat till 12. Wait till 1 or 2. Purge yourself. Cleanse yourself. There are some people that think that the food that they, are, they ate in the dream is divine supply. They think it's supernatural provision. The dream, the dream, the dream world. Another entry point is dream world. Eating the dream is part of it. The dream world, the manipulations of the dreams. You eat, they feed you. Today when we start praying, whatever deposit is in your body that came via eating in the dream, it shall come out, 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 it shall come out. And sometimes they look, they, they use the meal that you cannot resist. Huh? They use the meal you can't resist. If pandemic is your weakness, they just bring pandemic like this. It's okoroko. Correct snail. Correct fish and everything. All the shoko yokoto. They are salted. <laughs> you are dancing. You are eating. And by the time you are done eating, boom, covenant is tightened. And at the end of the day, one wakes up going through all kinds of demonic operations. Am I communicating here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A young girl, I was ministering. Is it Cote d'Ivoire? Is that Ivory Coast or something? It's an African country, but not it's a West African country. And I picked a young girl. I said, there's a spirit of rape that's following you. She started crying. The pastors were started crying. So I felt I had embarrassed her. So I just said, God, God, will, God will put an end to it. I left. Later, she said she wanted to see me. She came with the pastor's wife. He said, her life, she has been raped not less than 20 times. Now, to make the matters worse, among those 24 of them were mad men. Now, I said, tell me. How, how? He said, even though she wear cloth, eh? she's a pretty lady, let the cloth cover this ground. It must happen to her. She avoids people somehow. So I knew it was a spirit. But first of all, I need to know by the Holy Ghost how this thing came. Because if you do not, that is why deliverance is not written in a book. Oh. No, it is the duty, the, the, the most outstanding form of deliverance is Holy Ghost inspired. First of all, all of these things I'm giving you now is knowledge. You have a background knowledge. But you now need the Holy Ghost when something is the Holy Spirit. So I had to ask the Holy Spirit, what is this? The Lord says, send for our Father. 
I said, I want to see your father. The man came, he wasn't speaking English, he was speaking French. And the Lord opened my eyes that when he was young, they know him in his area, rapist. Now, Baba, they don't allow young ladies past their house. He will dive. She did all that after the while he stopped. But the spirit said, a transaction has been entered. This thing you have done to people, your daughter. These are entry point. Am I communicating here? What was your father known for? What was your mother known for? If you come from a polygamous family, you need deliverance. Don't even if your father has married more than one wife or children from more than one person, you need deliverance. If your mother has children from more than one man, you need deliverance. Your father has two wives, your father has three wives, deliverance. Your father now has ten wives. You need deliverances. Ten wife, that's not polygamy, that's multigamy. It's multigamous. Okay. Are you ready? Have you, have you gotten something? Huh? Are you sure? Dream. There are people, once your dream is hazard, there are people, no matter the dream they dream, is the negative that happens. In fact, if they dream that something good is coming for them, they already interpret it to mean that something good is living. There are some people that no matter if they dream a good dream, they can never remember. But if it's a bad dream, it's very, very fresh in their mind. Once they, they can't, they wake up. You know, there are some people that think it's a good thing. Say, ah, I thank God for my life. Oh. Once I just put my body on the bed, ew, ah. I close my eyes. I don't dream. I just sleep go. <laughs> I sleep go. And they think that is that no. Why would you dream? God wants to talk to you through dreams. But the demon enemy attacks your dream life. Attacks your dream life. We had a program somewhere. The place they put me to stay was a suit. They have two extra rooms outside the rooms I was staying. So a pastor and his wife and his PA, they were around. So the pastor didn't get a place to sleep. So I told us, okay, your peer is here. You and your wife can stay in that room. That's far there. Then the peer can stay in this room. So I stayed in my room. So minister one. Big, 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 that one don't go. Amen. That one was gone. I slept off. So I was knocking on the door. It was the it was the wife. It was Get me. Now. Is that working? I was not, the wife came out. She started crying. So I saw the pastor lying on the bed. No, no, no. Was throwing blow. So I began to pray because I understood what was going on. That's why you need teaching. I understood. What was happening there is the spiritual husband of the wife that was fighting the husband. I said, hey, hey, I identify you. You spiritual husband. The man screamed. I said, stop. Like moving. Not because I'm so powerful. Knowledge. So I said, stop. So I told the man, I said, when he came back, I said, two of you, around 2 a.m., sat down. When the man started talking, I saw the look, Mommy Gio. I said, Mommy Gio, hey, you didn't go. You see, many of us looking at me now, you have been born again, but you have never 
gone through deliverance. You have been using faith, faith to cover up. I'm a child of God. Meanwhile, there is a vacuum in your life which you know some things are not right. I've asked some pastors, I say, when did you go to your deliverance? Deliverance, ah, I'm a child of God. I say, pastor, the thing will wait for you for front row. And it becomes terrible when you are now leading people and yet you are bound. Be on your feet. I, I, did you get anything today? We are continuing tomorrow. Did you get anything? I pity those who didn't make the teachings today. Did you get anything? First of all, before we pray, this is the first thing that helps deliverance. You must first ask God to purify you. Because once there is any spot, demons hold on to that. What brings easy, you know, outburst, easy express or passageway for spirits is when the, the vessel is clear. How many of you know when you have a pipe that is blocked, water can flow out? When you want to pump water, you first of all take out all the blockage that you can now release. You are going to ask the Lord for mercy. Ask him for forgiveness first. For forgiveness. Lord, forgive me. Any sin that the enemy wants to hold against me, forgive me. Bible says if we commit sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous. in Jesus name we pray Amen. now we are going to take this prayer when I say clap your hand please don't kneel down when you are addressing spirits you don't kneel down kneel down is for mercy for supplication for surrender for forgiveness and for communion you want to commune with the Holy Spirit you can do that on your knees you can sit if you want to kneel okay but most times when you are, you are giving instructions you don't kneel you stand and when you are clapping your hands, you are confusing the enemies. The Bible says the battle of a warrior is with confused noise. Isaiah 9 verse 4. Gamma rolled in blood. It shall be with everlasting body and fuel of fire. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, you have my permission. Any power of my father's house, my mother's house, that has yoked my life, covenants they entered, as I pray now, be broken from my life. Every power of my father's house, my mother's house, that has yoked my life, covenant they enter, be broken from my life. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. My father. My father. Listen, as we pray this prayer, many of you, the power of God will come. Your deliverance will begin. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As, as I, begin I begin to pray. To pray every power of my father's house. Every power of my father's house. My mother's house. My mother's house. My mother's house. That has yoked my life. Has yoked my life. I disconnect myself by fire. I disconnect myself by fire. I Fire, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I disconnect myself by fire. I disconnect myself by fire. I disconnect myself by fire. Malabarakusa. Malabarakusa. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. Oh, my God. 
Lift your hands to heaven. There are people that are going to be totally disconnected today. Amen. All the same battles that your parents went through. And it has been showing forth, raising his ugly head in your life. Oh. By the anointing of God today, you will be disconnected. Amen. The anointing of God that destroys the yoke will destroy every yoke right now. Amen. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood Two more time. of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power. One more time. Amen. There is power. There is power. For the last time. Loud and clear. One more time. There is power. There is power. That is power. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power. For the last time. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power. There is power. In the blood. Covenants and spiritual legal grounds are entered by declarations. And violations of such demonic contracts are only established on the platform of declarations. So you say these words after me. Some of you shall feel something like fire. Some shall feel it like cold. Some other like currents of electricity. It shall be the mighty hand of God. Let your two hands be lifted. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, I have heard your word. I have heard your word. I believe in your word. I believe, I believe in your word. And I have prayed. And I have prayed. You know what I don't know. You know, you know what, what I don't know. Every ancient covenant. Every ancient covenant. Ancient agreement. Ancient agreement. Under which I have become a victim. Under which I have become a victim. Patana Matana. Patana Matana. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, you have my permission. You have, you have my, my permission. permission. Disconnect me. Disconnect, Disconnect me. me. 
disconnect all that concerns me disconnect all that concerns me. from evil altars from evil altars paternal altars paternal altars, altars. altars. maternal altars. altars disconnect Hope. me now disconnect me now by fire by, by fire. fire disconnect me 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 by fire 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 look at that 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 wherever you are the power of god wherever you are come out of him come out of her out you power of the enemy from wherever you are stand from the choir stand to the crowd everywhere the holy ghost is setting people free every power that is not of god that is fighting my sister that is fighting my brother i my park your load park your load what are you waiting for come out of her get out get out of her now park your load park your load out in the name of Jesus, Pariko Sipataya, E Parakatoba. I command every ancient altar, ancient altars, ancient altars. What are you waiting for? Park your load, 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 park your load. Come out of the people, come out of them, come out of them, come out of them, come out of them. Lose that woman, lose that girl. Every marine power, every asmodi power, every serpentine power, every serpentine power, every emiri power, every local power, the representative of the queen of the coast, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, pack your lord, whatever you ate in the dream. Whatever you ate in the dream that is manifesting your body, come out now. Come out through your mouth, through any part of your body. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. By fire now. By fire now. Lose her. Lose him and let him go. Come out of her. Fire. Fire. That invisible ring. That invisible necklace. That invisible jewelry. That invisible ring. That invisible necklace. That invisible jewelry. I command you. I command you. Take fire. 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 Lose her. Lose her. Come out. Whatever you ate in the dream that has entered your blood, oh. entered your system, that is manipulating you, oh. catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, hey, catch fire. Come out! Lose her! Lose him and let him go! Lose him! Lose her! Go! 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 every foreign body in your body oh. whatever is not of jesus oh. whatever is not of jesus oh. every foreign body in your body oh. every foreign body in your body oh. the bible says stranger shall hear our voice and obey oh. as soon as they hear they shall fade every foreign body in your body oh. come out in the name of jesus amen Rapati perupati pasakato parita ito topirako ito topirako lose that girl come out of that girl come out of that boy come out of that man come out of that woman go shit it 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 Aha. There are people who were covenanted. I command evil covenants. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. I command evil covenants. Evil covenant. Oh. The blood. Oh. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood. 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 
you will not suffer what your father suffer amen you will not suffer what your mother suffer amen you will not suffer what others suffer in your family amen a piece of tea, there are people that all the things you ate in the dream are manipulating every structure of your system you have developed strange attacks on the body some have developed strange attacks on every phase of their life even their finances in the name of Jesus right now by this anointing by this anointing Satan you have gone too far you will go no further you devil ever what are you waiting for pack your load pack your property pack your property pack your load come out in the name of Jesus amen Aha. Mosape koti paritaka. All that the enemy has taken from you, in any way you have been shortchanged by life. In life, I decree today by the anointing of Jesus. Get back what you lost. Amen. Get back what you lost. Amen. Get back what you lost. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Aparasata kipata. Ekotoperiti shata. Begin to wave your hands and say, My destiny is restored. My destiny is restored. My greatness is restored. All that the enemies took is restored. Begin to appreciate the Lord for your restoration. 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 You too much, oh, Baba. You too much, oh, Baba. Oh, Diego. Scandibia. You too much, you. They say you too much, you. But all Diego, all Diego, she can be there. She can be there. All Diego. The glory of God is all over this place. You too much. Oh. You too much. Oh, Diego. Oh, Diego. She come to be a. She come to be a. Oh, Diego. One more time. You too much. Oh. So, Daddy, you too much, you are the good. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel. Sata bala da bala da bala da bala da bala da. Ire be de 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 be. Ire be de be de be. In Jesus' name, you are free. 
in jesus mighty name Amen. clap your hands for the king of kings Thank you. we are going to tomorrow we are continuing now we are going to be handling tomorrow some factors some features so for those who are not here today inform them are you blessed when you get back home pray on the notes you have written down and the information Acts 17 11 the barrier Christians were more noble than the Christians in Thessalonica they received the word of God with all readiness of heart and when they got home they searched if the things we are so so don't just take notes in church when you get back home even if it's 20 minutes just run through it run through it and just thank God for what he has done so we're going to continue that tomorrow morning tomorrow by one I believe God that by Wednesday Thursday Friday your testimonies would have started already in Jesus name let's take our offerings put a seal on the seed we have received your seed is blessed in Jesus name I come to nail away. You've done what no man can do. Beginning and the end. You deserve a praise. I go to shame by one. You've done far more than a novel. Laughter in my mouth. You are Lord, I God. Jesus, I come to nail away. You've done what no man can do. Beginning and the end. Beginning and the end. You deserve my praise. I go to You've done far more than a novel. Lies are in my mouth. You are Lord. Oh, Jesus, I can't be nailed away. You've done what no man can do. Beginning and the end, you deserve our praise. I do not shame my one. You've done far more than a novel. Lies are in my mouth. You are Lord. I can't. My praise, 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 Of them all. I'm a living testimony. Living testimony. You don't want no man can do. Give him a chance to fight. Give him a victory in the midst of adversity. Hey, what no man can do. A story no man can change. That is what you are done. Jesus, I can't do that. You've done what no man can do.
Hallelujah. You start eating the benefits of total deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Greatness on my side. Goodness shall follow me. In Jesus' mighty name. Supernatural. Somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. Tomorrow, 1 o'clock, we're here again. Those for the training, 9 a.m. Squad, protocols. Um, 